Hello, welcome viewers to Edimu TV, whereby we learn and experience together. Uh, we are going to have our biology from one, lesson six. Our uh, today's topic will be about the cell, and I'm very sure you are aware that the cell is a basic unit of an organism. And at the subtopic, uh, preparation of temporary slides, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. Uh, as you are aware, to observe um, specimens under the microscope, we need to prepare slides. There are two types of slides, namely the temporary or fresh slides for immediate use during a lab exercise and permanent slides which are can be preserved for, uh, for reuse. By the end of le the lesson, you should be able to prepare temporary slides because we are going to go all through the procedures which are required to, for you to prepare temporary slides. Let us um, work together uh, throughout the lesson. To prepare and observe temporary slides of onion cells, we are going to prepare temporary slides of onion cells. But um, it is not only it is not that only onion cells have temporary slides. You can have as many temporary slides as possible. But in our today's lesson, we are going only to prepare our uh, uh, onion cells. There are uh, there are several requirements which are required for you to prepare these onion slides. Whereby one, we require the microscope, and the microscope must um, be very clean. We have uh, clean the microscope slides. We have cover slips, a scalpel, or rather you can have a um, razor blade. We are going to have distilled water, iodine solution, an onion bulb, a pair of forceps. We are going also, we can have the dropper, and a mounted needle. These are the requirements which uh, we are going to do in our today's lesson for the lesson to be a success. When we are uh, uh, preparing the slides, there is a procedure that is required for us to have um, the best results ever. On the procedure, we are going to have a diagrammatic representation as I am explaining the, the diagram. As you can see, the first diagram here our first diagrammatic presentation is whereby we are cutting the we are cutting the onion bulb vertically into four parts you cut it vertically into four parts our second procedure you separate a fleshy leaf from one of the parts as we are as in after you cut the the vertical um, bulb you are going now to uh, separate a fleshy leaf from one of the parts ensure that the the leaf is not dry our third procedure you peel a piece of epidermis and as you uh, an epidermis is the upper part so you peel the epidermis from this leaf that you have already cut using forceps as illustrated in our uh, in our diagram uh, in our diagram um, C now from there what you do you place a drop you place a drop of water on a clean slide and you quickly spread the piece of epidermis on top of the water. The reason why you should do it very quickly using the, the uh, you drop it very quickly is to avoid it from drying. Uh, from there, you use a mounted, uh, a mounted needle or um, any other apparatus that you are going to use to lower a clear cover slip onto the epidermis strip. You cannot still use your fingers as long as the fingers are, are um, clean. But ensure that you do this gently to avoid trapping air bumbles. Uh, the next step which you should take is to examine the temporary slide under the law and medium power uh, of, the, of the microscope. Remember in our one of the requirements we need the microscope. So we are going to observe it using the law and the medium power a microscope. The microscope is normally has got uh, different um, magnification powers so we are going you can use the times 4 or the times 40 for you to observe the slides from there you repeat the procedure you repeat the procedure above with an with another epidermal strip using a drop of di dilute iodine solution in so instead of now using distilled water the reason why you should uh, use um, colored one and iodine these two stain the cells from there you are going to make a large neat well labeled diagram 
drawing of two cells which you have already observed that is now will be one of them will be a control experiment yes having done that um, we have an activity which we are required to do using a well label diagram you draw the structure of onion cell as seen under the light microscope just draw the, stru uh, the structure of the onion cell as you have just seen using the light microscope remember there are two microscopes that is the light and the electron but in this case we need the structure as seen under the electron microscope uh, for further reference on the procedure and uh, uh, for other to observation of other slides you can uh, consult klb secondary biology students book one nairobi but for more information you can conduct us <coughs> and um, using the um, you can sms us through the number as you can see from the screen a screen or rather you send us an uh, sms through the uh, facebook page which is elimu tv or you send us uh, sms on twitter at elimu tv underscore kenya thank you for watching and welcome let us learn together thank you